The filing deadline for candidates seeking office in North Carolina was Friday. It ended with Republicans fielding at least one candidate in all 50 state Senate districts, something observers say is unprecedented. Leaders hope to take control of at least one House in the General Assembly. Us winning a majority in November is not about Republicans winning a majority for Republicans' sake. We have an opportunity to change the direction of the state, and not only for a couple of months, but for decades to come. The executive director of the North Carolina Democratic Party, Andrew Whalen, says Democrats will stay in charge. I think the, the Democrats are, are going to be in great shape when we get to November. Now let's take a look at the math. In the Senate, Democrats have a 10-seat majority. Six of those incumbents are not running this year. They include big names like Tony Rand, David Hoyle, R.C. Souls, and Julia Bozeman. The conservative John W. Pope Civitas Institute's partisan index says four other Democrat incumbent districts lean Republican. The opposite is not true for any Republican seats. Whalen says he's confident of holding a majority in both chambers. But we're very confident that the Democratic Party is going to be able to maintain our majorities in the state House and state Senate this year. Over in the House, Republicans have candidates in 110 of the state's 120 districts. That's according to the activist group Americans for Prosperity. The Democratic Party holds a 16-seat majority. Breaking the numbers down, five Democrat incumbents are not running again, and Civitas gives Republicans an edge in nine seats currently held by Democrats. That makes it more difficult for Republicans to win a majority. But leaders say they've focused on getting good candidates. The most important aspect of our ability to win are quality candidates. That's why we put so much of an emphasis on it. Some say Republicans are riding a wave of energy following Tea Parties in 2009. Whalen sees those Tea Parties as an opportunity to split the Republican Party. But there's a kind of a, a war going on within the Republican Party. and. And how far right that party is going to be, is it going to be a party of the right or the extreme right? There are two important dates that you need to remember. The first is May 4th. That's the primary. The second is November 2nd, and that's the general election. Now, if you're not registered to vote or you need to change your registration, just go to the State Board of Elections website for instructions on how to do that. For CarolinaJournal.tv, I'm Anthony Greco.